Hi my beautiful souls, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing very well. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about carmine. Um, carmine, if you don't know, is a red pigment that is often used in food and in cosmetics, and it is one of the main ingredients, what makes especially nail polish not vegan, but also many other beauty products and cosmetics items, especially if it has a red color. And oftentimes I do see and find people wondering, well, what really is the problem with carmine? Why should we not want to use carmine? I'm gonna be answering our point of view here at Kira Charlotte for you guys today. So without any further ado, let's get going. So in order to understand why a lot of vegans and people living a vegan lifestyle have a problem with carmine, I think we need to understand what carmine actually is. Carmine is a red pigment or dye, which is often Often used in our food or in our beauty products and it is basically derived from crushed cocky nail bugs you can find carmine in sodas or in juices or ice cream yogurt or candy for example so let's say for example ice cream if a brand or company is creating a strawberry ice cream oftentimes they will use carmine as a red dye to really accentuate that red pink color that strawberry ice cream often does use and carmine is also often used as a red pigment or dye in many cosmetics or beauty products especially makeup so think red lipsticks or even pink lipsticks or blushes or any kind of red shaded eyeshadow as well carmine can be used in so many ways in our food and in our cosmetics to create a red dye and most of us don't know that this is actually included in a lot of the products that we use or buy so now you know that your products whether that be food or cosmetics includes carmine i.e crushed bugs now i know that sounds really disgusting to a lot of people and a lot of the times that's also reason enough for people to start trying to avoid this ingredient which by the way is not necessarily easy because it is really used as a common pigment and dye in our food and cosmetics. But on the other hand, a lot of people will also wonder what really is the issue of using carmine in our food or in our cosmetics. So basically anyone who lives a vegan lifestyle will avoid eating or consuming or wearing or using any product or item that uses anything that is derived from an animal or a living creature, including bugs. And that is pretty much what the vegan lifestyle is all about. But of course, the question gets a bit broader than that because some people wonder why is it not okay to eat, consume crushed bugs? People ask this, of course, because most of us don't really have any kind of relationship with bugs. In fact, most of us, I would say, don't really like bugs, myself included. I don't love bugs. I don't like them in my home. I don't really have a relationship with them either, but that doesn't mean that I don't respect them as living creatures in this world. If you're walking in the streets or you're, I don't know, you're walking in the forest or whatever, and you see a colony of ants, would you step on them on purpose, stomp on them on purpose? Would you just gather a lot of them on purpose to create, I don't know, whatever you wanna create with those ants? Most likely, no. Just like if you find a bug in your home, the first instinct most often, I know not always, but most often, is to let that bug or creature out of our homes outside before we decide to actually kill them. Because why would we kill that bug or creature when it's not necessary and we could just let them outside? So the same thing goes with carmine and cocky nail bugs. You need around 100,000 cocky nail bugs to create just one kilogram of carmine. And please try to let that sink in because in order to create all the thousands and millions of kilograms of carmine that are needed per year for the cosmetics and food industry, just imagine the sheer volume of carmine, of cocky nail bugs that are needed in order to do that. In order to derive that carmine from those cocky nail bugs, because you obviously need such a sheer humongous volume of these bugs, they do need to be harvested. And cocky nail bugs live on a certain type of cactus and they are mostly harvested in Peru in farms where the certain type of cacti are grown in order to basically just harvest these cocky nail bugs. And that for us is anything but natural. This is pretty much the reason why people who live a vegan lifestyle see carmine as problematic and why we also challenge you to consider if this is something that you could perhaps start avoiding in your cosmetics as well. What alternative or red pigments are there? Basically, any other red pigment that is used is a vegan alternative to carmine. Carmine is pretty much the only non-vegan 
red pigment that is used in cosmetics and makeup but it is also one of the most commonly used red pigments in makeup or food however there are other alternatives that are vegan these can be chemical pigments but also organic natural pigments for example when it comes to more conventional makeup or beauty there they will often use um, chem chemical alternatives also nail polish will pretty much always use chemical al alternatives natural cosmetics will often try to use very natural ingredients fruit pigments or any variations of vegetable pigments as well so there really are a lot of alternatives some of the more chemical red pigments can be very irritating to our skin which is the reason why it sometimes is advised not to use those kinds of pigments on your more sensitive areas for example on your lips or on your eyelids but this is going to be really individual to every person and it will obviously of course also depend on the exact type of red pigment which is used so in summary people often ask and wonder if carmine is vegan the answer to that is simply no because it is derived from living beings i.e cocky nail bugs and we at Tia Charlotte we are committed to creating 100 percent vegan cosmetics and we never have and never will use carmine as an ingredient in our cosmetics that was the video for today you guys i really hope that you now better understand what the problem is with carmine what carmine actually is and what it is used for and in what kind of products and items you can actually find it in which is quite a lot i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'm super excited to see you guys in our next video until then you guys <laughs>